Hi. In today's session, we're going to look at how to connect to SAP HANA Cloud Database while developing a Python application uh, using this Visual Studio Code Editor. I'm going to explain this a use case with a simple example to connect to the HANA Cloud Database. And I provide a simple SQL query stream to access a database table in Cloud Database and get the response back from the database and process that information in, in my Python application. This is a very simple use case to start with, but you can do uh, more complex use cases with loops and other further database processing logics in Python application. Let's take a look at the process involved in uh, getting the connection established. I have some steps documented in my GitHub repository page. So I'm going to provide this link to you so that you can follow this, um, uh, these steps. And also there is a SAP uh, developer tutorial uh, which provides a lot, lot more details on how to install and how to get the connection established and develop a simple uh, Python application connecting to the database of HANA Cloud. Let's take a look at the steps in little detail. Uh, the first step you can see the the installing the Python. So if you haven't installed Python on your, your machine, uh, just start uh, install Python so software uh, from the python.org. It is very simple and easy to follow the instructions on the website. So I'm not going to show you how to install the Python on your machine. It's pretty simple and it's, a, it's available everywhere. Or you can follow the steps that are provided in the developer tutorial and then use VS Code Editor. In my example, I, I'm using uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code Editor, but you can use any other developer tools like Sublime or uh, any other IDE. And then install the Python extension there. So it's pretty simple. You can go and go to the extensions and then look for your extension, Python. And it's gonna get you the required extension. Go for it, um, install this. Uh, extension. So it allows you to run or develop the Python files on your Visual Studio Code Editor. The switch I already installed. So I'm going to go into that, switch back to the project workspace. This is what actually we're going to do now, is create a workspace for the Python work. So I already have a workspace created. It's just a folder uh, was um, created on my machine. Uh, you can create an, any other a folder and provide that, uh, open that folder in the uh, Visual Studio Creator uh, that is considered as a workspace for you to uh, to, to start working. And you can also uh, collaborate with your external repository like Git. So you can have the clone repository and also push this report changes to the remote and get the changes back to your local workspace or repository. So I'm not going to get, it's a simple thing. So you can just uh, create a folder and make that as a workspace for you to start working on your Python developments. And the next step is create an, an it, it's it's not mandatory, but it's, it's gonna come as very useful and uh, make your um, libraries or modules installations um, easier. So we're going to use um, an environment create. You can use Anaconda's environment or also, um, so you can create the environment from uh, the command palette. So go in and say, create uh, environment. So it gives you two options, either to create a virtual environment or a Conda environment. So I'm going to pick the virtual env environment and then create. I already did created one, so you can see uh, VNEV is uh, is showing up on on my project workspace or uh, repository workspace. So I'm not going to create any uh, another one. So you can create one so it makes your uh, installations easier. For example, if I wanted to get uh, um, a module installed, so I'm going to say pip3 install HDB CLI. HDB CLI is a client uh, extension module that is required in order to get the access to the HANA database. So I did the install of, installation of HDB CLI uh, using pip, um, uh, and it is already satisfied. So I already installed. 
So it was, wasn't really required to do another installation now. But if you're doing it for the first time, uh, yes, you may have to do this uh, or run this command to get the HDV, HDV CLI um, module available for you to use. So that's it. Uh, that's another prerequisite that for, for getting started on the accessing to the HANA database. After you be doing of recreating the environment, uh, we just need to restart it so that you can start working on it. So after restarting, you, you can run this pip3 install um, HDB CLI command to get the installation done on, of this module. And then you can start creating the your Python program, uh, any uh, application that you wanted to uh, develop and then start accessing SAP HANA cloud system. Let's take a look at uh, the code on what we have done to get this um, um, to get this uh, subcreated um, uh, import platform from the HDB CLI extension. It's an extension module from SAP um, HANA uh, to access the SAP HANA databases um, and get all required access of inserts. Uh, selects and uh, all the database operations you can depending on the access user uh, privileges so what i'm going to do i establish a connection uh, with the host port and username and password once i get the connection established i'm going to use this connection um, uh, uh, open um, and pass this to a variable uh, and then I'm going to write the command, a SQL command. Uh, this is a simple SQL command um, or string to access my database table. That's, uh, that's my schema. So I can show you where the schema is in, in my cloud. So this is a pretty simple um, table I created in my schema uh, with a few entries, three entries I've added there. So I can see these three entries. So, so I'm going to access this table. Uh, in my Python app application and display or print the data in, 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 in the application output. So switch, switching back to the Visual Studio, that's what I'm doing in the rows, um, looping and uh, printing all these three uh, rows, uh, one after the other by uh, separating in a line. Yeah, that's about the code, um, what we really wanted. I'm going to run this uh, file now. So I run Python file. So you can see this uh, is being executed. And then I get the uh, output of the table printed here uh, uh, with the three records that I have had in my table. You can do further programming um, using this data. And also you can write the data back to SAP HANA cloud system, uh, provided the user has the right permissions to do that and also process your uh, data uh, in the application and also present this to UI as well. That's about uh, connecting to SAP HANA Cloud Database while creating a Python uh, application. I'm going to keep the code and also um, the instructions files in the uh, description as a link to the GitHub repository so that you can access it and um, perform or uh, do this exercise on your system. Thanks for listening. Uh, that's all for today. Bye for now. Thank you.